Now we know that there's going to be a big announcement from Apple next Wednesday the 7th of March and all clues are pointing to it being the iPad 3. Looking at the typically minimal invite from Apple, some people are saying it might not have a home button. What would this mean for iOS? We pulled together all the current home button commands and tested whether they'd work without the actual button. Most people tap the home button then slide to unlock, but what's the alternative? Just use the power button. Double click for multitasking was a massive feature added to iOS 4. Swipe four or five fingers upwards and you can multitask and get to your media controls. The simplest command is exiting an app. It would become a full-on four-finger pinch gesture, then to close the folder, just tap the folder again. Getting to Spotlight from your home screen is simple with a single home button click. Without the home button, you'll have to revert to the traditional shortcut of swiping right. To stop icons wiggling after you've moved them around, normally warrants a tap of the home button. Maybe not the most elegant solution, but if you drag the notifications bar down, they stop. Clicking the home button and power button at the same time takes a screenshot, which is handy for app developers. This wouldn't be possible, so maybe Apple will invent a new gesture, possibly double tap with four fingers. We're being a bit presumptuous here, but if the new iPad has Siri, how will we get to speak to it? The raise to speak option on the iPhone would be a bit silly on a tablet. If you have 10 home pages, you're just going to have to swipe and swipe and swipe and swipe until you get back to your home screen. A little known feature of iOS is the triple click home button options, which gives you a menu to toggle accessibility options. This function will be lost, which could cause problems for some people. Without double click from lock screen for media controls like volume, getting to the media controls will require a button press, swipe to unlock, four fingers up and then a swipe right, hardly in line with Apple's simplicity. Holding the lock and home buttons activates DFU mode for adjusting firmware or jailbreaking. Maybe the lack of home button will kill this feature without special software. We're not sure whether the iPad 3 will be button-less, but if it is, these tips should help you out so you're ready to go as soon as it comes out of the box.